Hi guys, it's Jodie from Home Peel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to talk about niacinamide, okay, and tell you what's all the hype about. So unless you've been living under a rock, then you probably know that niacinamide as a skincare ingredient is blowing up. Like it's literally going out the door as if we've lost the recipe for it. So today I've had a lot of customers who have come to me and asked me, What's it all about? Can I break it down and talk about why it's so popular? And today I'm gonna to do that. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to release um, Home Peel's new packaging that's gonna be rolling out over the next few weeks. So this is um, our niacinamide, our brightening B3 brightening serum. So how cute is that? And uh, it sort of has all of the, I'm not sure if you can, there you go, so just put it there. So I just wanted to throw that in there. So that's our new packaging. I'm pretty excited about it. So B3, niacinamide, same thing. So just so you know that. Now let's get stuck into it. Actually, yesterday I wrote a blog about it. So before I upload it, um, I wanted to record it. Now I'm not gonna read it, but I am gonna use it to refer to so I stay on track because there's quite a lot to cover. I don't wanna miss anything. And I also don't want to um, float away and ramble on like I do sometimes. So let's get started. So. First of all, niacinamide is a type of vitamin B. It's a, a water-soluble solution, and it's also very stable. Now, niacinamide, I'm gonna talk about probably the top five reasons why I think that it's very popular right, right now, and why um, I'm gonna talk about its unique qualities. Niacinamide is used to reduce hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is the hardest thing to treat in skincare. So, and really probably about 70% uh, of my customers all want to treat it. So it's very common and it's very hard. Clinical studies have shown that niacinamide can has an effect on hyperpigmentation after just four weeks. And if you don't know what hyperpigmentation is, it's basically what causes that um, uneven skin tone. So it's when pigmentation is darker in other areas uh, than some areas. So you've got you know, pigmentation is the color of your skin and hyperpigmentation is when it's darker or lighter in other areas. So that's hyperpigmentation. So I suppose that's probably one of the main reasons why everyone's loving niacinamide. It's very effective on hyperpigmentation. So let's move on to the next point that I've written about is that it's an amazing wingman. So why have I called it a wingman? Well, there are other ingredients out on the market that are designed and are very good at working on hyperpigmentation, vitamin C and retinol being two of them. But niacinamide actually works in a different area of the tyrosinase, in the anti-tyrosinase war. So that's a huge big word there. Let me step back a little bit and tell you what tyrosinase is. So tyrosinase is the enzyme that produces melanin. So melanin is what changes the color of the pigmentation in your skin, which causes the hyperpigmentation. So tyrosinase is the enzyme that creates the melanin that creates the hyperpigmentation. So what we're looking for is we're looking for anti-tyrosinase ingredients, okay? So niacinamide is an anti-tyrosinase ingredient and so is vitamin C and retinol. Um, niacinamide will actually works in a different area and this is a very simple way to talk about something complicated so um, I think it's best to do it that way so it works in a different area so basically it won't be competing with vitamin C and retinol so you can use them all together so they're good to complement each other and I think that's probably uh, another reason why it's very very popular also you might google anti-tyrosinase ingredients or um, hyperpigmentation ingredients. And you'll find other players out there like arbutin and azalic acid and hydroquinone. And yep, there are other players out there, but it's important for you to understand that 
those ingredients have been banned in a number of countries, including Australia. So before you go off and think, oh wow, look at all these ingredients, I wanna tackle my hyperpigmentation, um, make sure that you Google the ingredient and make sure that it's safe because many of us know that there are ingredients that are allowed to be in skincare that we wonder why, because they are known to many of us to be quite toxic. And as you know, Home Pill stands for not ever bringing anything onto the market that isn't safe for your skin. That's our whole thing. Okay, so moving on. Niacinamide is also an antioxidant. So antioxidants help the skin repair itself. Also, antioxidants, they go around and they escort out of your body free radicals, okay? So free radicals are these crazy little radicals that run around your body and damage skin cells. So niacinamide finds them and grabs them and covers them and escorts them out of your body. So that's a fantastic thing. And I guess uh, that's why antioxidants are kind of the best skin tool in the shed when it comes to anti-aging. So moving on to the next point, soothing and calming. Niacinamide is perfect for red irritated skin and it's due to its anti-inflammatory properties. Niacinamide has the ability to inhibit inflammatory cytokines, okay? So cytokines are, are related to the immune system that cause inflammation. So being able to inhibit cytokines is actually a really fantastic way to bring down inflammation and decrease the redness in your skin. And redness is quite often a problem. When I go through my skincare coach forms, redness is quite often way up there. So that's something that we're all looking for. Right, I'm just gonna move on to moisturizing and barrier protection. Now this is really important uh, because I think this is this little section is gonna help you decide and make sure that the serum that you choose that has niacinamide in it is actually going to be worth the money that you spend because not all niacinamide serums are created equal. So in order for me to explain that, I need to explain to you what a liposome is. So a liposome is basically a tiny bubble of goodness wrapped up in a membrane that's very similar to our skin cell membranes. So a niacinamide liposome has niacinamide in it. And basically what um, having it in that structure means that it's got a fantastic delivery system. So what it does is it can get through the barrier of the skin into the epidermis where it needs to go in order to create the magic which is fantastic. So if your niacinamide serum isn't liposomal, that means that it's pretty much a waste of your time and money. Uh, how do you know if it is? Well, skincare brands aren't necessarily um, required to release that information. So you can ask them or it might be in the literature. So it's always best to find out that information before you go ahead and make your choice. All right, now, before I end this part where I talk about the benefits of niacinamide, I do want to mention one last part here, which is about oil control. Clinical studies have shown that niacinamide has a fantastic um, effect on overactive sebaceous glands. So what are sebaceous glands? Sebaceous glands are the glands inside your pores that regulate your skin's oil, which is sebum. So if you've got overactive sebaceous glands, that means that your skin's going to be very oily. You're gonna have that shine. It's gonna make your pores look bigger. It can get caught up with some dirt in the pores and that's what's um, in many cases the reason why we might have pimples or blackheads. So by using niacinamide, we're actually um, decreasing the oil production. So that's why people say it's great because it makes your pores appear smaller. It's great for people who suffer from pimples and blackheads as well. So that's just a final little part that I want to mention. And it's, it's not small, it's quite massive. It's actually a game changer for many, many people. Okay, before I finish off, I just wanna talk about why Home Pill has chosen um, our niacinamide to be at a 5% percentage. And that is because, first of all, 
Clinical studies have shown that you can see the results of niacinamide on your skin at a percentage level of 2% and upwards. So we've chosen five because of course, home pill is cosmeceutical grade. You might find other brands out there that have higher than 5%. Uh, we feel that that's probably a little bit risky because once you sort of start getting over five, you are putting uh, some skin at risk of getting irritated and it's really not necessary because five is amazing. So that's sort of the reason why we do that. Also, our brightening serum has other amazing ingredients like B5, which is another vitamin B. It has uh, white willow barks and it also has liquid. I'm not going to go into all the beautiful benefits of those ingredients because they've already been going for quite a while now and I'm going to try and wrap this video up but uh, together this magic potion is incredible for brightening your skin tone okay and uh, lastly I just want to also say that um, by choosing the home peel niacinamide you'll be getting the cosmeceutical grade ingredient which is at a high percentage but without the other known toxic ingredients that so many other brands have just by getting those ingredients off your skin is going to be a game changer on it in it on its own like just on its own there are so many people who can't even understand why these um, ingredients are allowed in skincare in this country it's quite bizarre so that's probably um, home pills most unique um, Edge is that we have the cosmeceutical grade natural skincare. It's Australian made. So before I go, I'll just sort of squeeze it out so you can have a little look at it. I'm not sure. There you go. And I'm just going to apply it to my skin. Okay. Now I do all of my videos without any foundation on. I don't have any makeup on. I'm 49 and I've been doing home peel for a really, really long time. I get a lot of, and I'll call them trolls, which is probably not very nice, but um, people attacking me a little bit on my videos because they just say that my face is full of Botox and filler. So um, I do get Botox from time to time. It's a little bit relaxed at the moment. I do have filler in my lips, but I don't have filler anywhere else. And if I could, I would, but because my features are so small, any kind of Botox makes my eyes disappear. So... And it looks like I'm wearing makeup because I have my tattoos, eyebrow, um, my eyebrows tattooed and also have lash extensions. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to get Botox and also um, use good skincare together because they work really well together. It's not necessary, but I don't think that it means um, because Botox is not going to give you great skin. I mean, it can tighten it, like it, it, I get it up on my forehead and it brings my forehead up and that's kind of the look that I like. I like the eyebrows to look lifted, but it doesn't do anything for this. You still need to use good skincare if you're getting Botox essentially is what I'm saying. So thank you so much, everybody. Um, home Peel, it's awesome. I'm Jodie Baker and good luck with your niacinamide. See you later.